Today, we are debunking a common misconception about crystal structures. Let's dive into why an edge-centered cubic cell simply doesn't qualify as a Brave lattice. A Brave lattice is a fundamental concept in crystallography. It's essentially a regular arrangement of points in space, where every point has an identical environment. Imagine a perfectly aligned grid. No matter which point you start from, and in which direction you move a specific distance, you'll always land on another grid point. This property is known as, translational symmetry. Now, let's examine the edge-centered cubic unit cell. It's a cubic structure with additional lattice points at the center of each edge. While this might seem like a regular arrangement at first glance, it's actually not. To understand why, let's perform a simple thought experiment. Pick a corner point, let's call it A. If we move a distance of half the edge length in a particular direction, we land on another lattice point, B. However, if we choose a different starting point, X, and move the same distance in the same direction, we don't end up on a lattice point. Instead, we find ourselves in the middle of a face. This inconsistency is the crux of the issue. For a structure to be a Brave lattice, every point must have identical surroundings. In our example, since the points A and X do not share this property, the edge-centered cubic arrangement fails to meet the criteria of a Brave lattice. It's crucial to note that this limitation isn't exclusive to cubic structures. This principle holds true for all crystal systems. An edge-centered arrangement, whether it's in a cubic, tetragonal, or hexagonal unit cell, will always violate the translational symmetry of a Brave lattice. To recap, the edge-centered cubic cell isn't a Brave lattice because it doesn't have the same pattern everywhere. In a Brave lattice, every point looks the same, but in an edge-centered cell, there are points that have different surroundings than others.